Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and you are there. So now that we have our locations uh, derived and uh, spelled out here, you being there and I being here, let's move along with the breaking news that in 2019, after President Obama had signed the uh, Apollo 11th 50th Anniversary Commemorative Coin Act, we'll have an exciting program that will celebrate the semi-centennial of the first manned landing on the moon. Very, very nice. The coin designs themselves are, uh, will be, and how the designs will be chosen are reminiscent of the first curved coins from the United States Mint. And this will be the second program to feature curved coins. And the, the obverse um, be convex curved shape like the concave obverse and the convex reverse. And the common obverse side, which will be emblematic of the United States space program leading up to the first man moon landing, will be selected by a public competition, just like was the case with the baseball coin program in 2014. So very exciting, and it will be common throughout all of the... Uh, different denominations and sizes. Next will be a shared reverse tail side depiction of the visor and part of the helmet from the famous photo of Buzz Aldrin on the moon, which you see right here. Very nice indeed. Let's get a closer look at it. So it will be of this view here. Very, very nice. And we've actually seen that. Daniel Carr has done a uh, concept dollar with this design on it but it was of the full astronaut view as you see here but on these curved coins it will just be of the uh, the visor and part of the helmet from the famous photo of Buzz Aldrin very very nice but here's the big news regarding this coin program it is possible it is not guaranteed that Without greatly adding to coin prices, reverse designs will flow around to touch their obverse designs. So to me, that, to me, that means that there will be no rim uh, or edge as such. Typical commemorative coins have reeded edges like on dimes and quarters. And as was the case with the 2014 National Baseball Hall of Fame coins, they had reeded edge, reeded edges because of the law uh, that created those coins. These they may have a workaround. Uh, so very interesting indeed. So that's the first part of the big news, and I'm wondering what that would look like. Does that mean the edges will just flow around to a point to the other side, or does it mean the actual design will itself curve around to the design? So in other words, you have a almost like a piece of wrapping paper, sort of, so to speak, around, imagine it wrapping around to the other side without really there being an edge, so to speak. The design will just flow around. That will be quite interesting to see. I, I kind of imagine it in my mind, but it'll be interesting to see. I hope they can pull that off. That would be a nice technical feat, as the U.S. Mint should be doing more things like this. So here is the other part of the big news for the first time ever in a commemorative coin program. Now, some of you may remember a previous video I posted that as of uh, 2016 and into 17, the U.S. men are not required to um, do coins in the 90% composition for the precious metals, such as gold, silver, or what's called coin silver and the like. So the compositions for the six, seven different design, uh, coins we're going to look at this chart here. Seven different Apollo 11 50th anniversary coins. The $5 gold piece will be limited to 50,000 pieces. No big surprise there. But the composition is where it's different. Not less than 90% gold. So in other words, they could be 999 gold. Uh, but they won't be any less than 90% gold in composition there. So very interesting there. Same thing with the silver dollar. Not less than 90% silver. The half dollar will be as we expect with the composition there. But here is the big one. A hundred thousand one dollar silver proof coins will be minted of nine 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 fine silver 
in a five ounce size, three inch diameter. That's going to be really cool. Uh, so I look forward to that in 2019. Very, very nice. And then we'll have the required inscriptions. And obviously there'll be some surcharges associated with these. But quite fascinating indeed that we're going to have a five ounce commemorative uh, silver dollar for the first time ever from the United States Mint uh, in 2019 with this program that was signed into law by President Obama. So quite an exciting program coming up for the uh, for 2019. Thought I'd share this information with you. Post your thoughts below on what you think about this program. I think it's exciting. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.